Hey guys, Molly here. Welcome to another weapon review. This time, we're going to be looking at the scave lock. So, first things first, here's the scave lock in all its glory. I love it because it's pretty darn stable and it hits hard. So, first off, we have IS-5 circle for the sight. Greatly increases handling speed. Then we have mobile 8 red, which increases its range. And we have mark 10 glass which increases the range and slightly decreases handling speed. I don't really notice too much of a difference between these, so I just kept it as this. But might as well go with that for the increased range, because handling doesn't really do much. Then we have high caliber rounds and tactical mag. I am going for high cal because I like to stagger people more. And then we have under pressure improves stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower. Then, down here, it has 42 rounds in the magazine at a 600 RPM, just like the last review, with the Philippus B, still a really good submachine gun. Pretty decent reload speed, good handling, pretty good stability for an auto rifle, damn good range, and impact. So, let's go ahead and start up a quick play. So guys, like last time, I'm kind of going to be trying to complement the reviewed weapon with a different ranged weapon or, you know, close range weapon depending on the range of the reviewed. So I'm running Tone Patrol as my distance weapon to go with the Scape Lock to complement it as much as possible. And for my heavy weapon, which I may or may not use, and I realize I said heavy, not power, screw me, Destiny 1. I have a fusion rifle, high impact variety. So guys, just, how are you? Just want to check in while we're flying in before the combat starts. Go ahead and leave a comment about how you're feeling. I mean, could be random stuff. But we're flying in now. So I'm going to head over to Alpha right now, just seeing what's going on here. I'm so dead. Got that assist. For the win. Kind of. Oh, okay, there we go. We're at Bravo. And right now, I should have played a warm up match before this. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, going around to Alpha Objective through the jump gate. There's a guy. I can't aim. Come on! Scave lock. Well, surprisingly. Team's doing pretty well. Let's see about this path. Nope. Screw you. I'm out. And let's see about hopping on Bravo now. This is not as much of a review as a intro to control. Because I'm not fighting. I'm just capping. Hip fire's pretty good. Scratch that, my team is not doing pretty good. I mean, we would be if, you know, we had more objectives. But the objectives is how we play to win, and I'm on point. <sighs> okay, bye. That works. Well, bye! <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <gasps> I beat Mida! I mean, I'm not surprised at all. This gun's the best. That's why I'm reviewing it. See? That pairing game. Loving it. Gotta have that scout rifle with this. Distance. And I'm just not finding anyone to kill. There's someone. Good thing those don't kill you, or I'd be dead. Sorry, teammate.
Boom! Melees for days. So, first match. Started off pretty rocky. Came back in and did pretty well, I think. Alright, now, let's go ahead and take this into a competitive match. To see how it does. And we're waiting. I like this map. I typically like to go up to B point first, which I just jump around over here. And nade there. I'm hit. Teammate, swap with me. Need to back out. Because you know, you're no good to your team dead. But I'll take that death if I can get that guy too. And my team gets wiped as soon as I die. Come on, Titan. Don't be a little ass fuck. Man, wow. Alright, my strafe game needs to get on point. Can beat these guys. Alright, I know I'm not talking because I'm getting a little more focused. But, here we go. Come on, buddy. Keep me here. Got some ticks on you. Okay, bud. Okay. I'll take you any day. Free kill. This is not showing you guys how it really can work. Alright. One v one, mono mono, let's do this. Now of course. How'd I know? Alright, so I need to start doing my own thing. Because that usually works for me. Nearly gotcha, bud. Nearly gotcha. Got you. Welcome back. Bye bye, Drang. Alright, so. Where to? Where to? I will kill you. Because you are camping the heavy ammo. Dum dum. You don't charge that. Come on, there we go. Next. Wow, they're already out. Hiya. I'll just do my little dance here. Power fist. Yep, yep. Bye, kid. So, guys, I can honestly say this gun is amazing. I didn't show it off too well. Hopefully, you guys saw what it could do and can make it do better. Anyways, Scavelock, I would honestly give probably a 7 out of 10. It does well in its situations, however, those don't always make what needs to be. So, in its range, it does fantastic. I'd say a 9 out of 10. In mid-range, I'd probably say an 8, maybe 7 out of 10. Then long range, good luck, it's probably around a let's say 5 out of 10 at long range. Hope you guys know what to really look out for with this and hope you guys like the gun. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.
It's the best around. I can kill people with no health. 